Come on in, the door is unlocked. Hola Barbie, ¿cómo está? Oh, what Vera, that's not Spanish, it's hola. Like, you gotta pronounce the H in hola. What? You're trying to tell me what Spanish means? Barbie, look, I know I'm new, but I do know what Spanish means. Hola, ¿cómo está? It means hello, how are you? Vera, I'm a medical doctor. I know everything and it's hola, kind of like hola, like hello at my best friend. Barbie, I don't know what kind of fantasy world you're li- Wait a minute. Barbie? Okay, okay. I'll let you do this. How about you teach me your Spanish and let's see if I can learn a little more, no? Oh yeah, that would be great. I'd love to teach you Spanish, you see, because I know everything. Also, I've been a Barbie school teacher for years, like all throughout the 70s, 80s, 90s, and today. So I can totally teach you. My first word is what I'm wearing right now, El Dresso. Oh yes, I completely believe you. And this right here is La Tabla. Okay, La Tabla, that sounds okay. And this right here is El Lampa, and it makes Lito. And this right here is my Vanitita, and that's where I put on, um, what's it called? Oh yeah, El Blusho, uh-huh. I hope you're learning lots, Vera. This right here is La Chera. And this right here is El Camnita. See, these are super easy. You just put like an L in front and then like an A or O. And this is uh, El Ferna. And I give it agua. Wait, no, agua is not right. It's El Water O. Yeah, yeah, El Water O. Well, Barbie, it looks like you proved me wrong. And I think you do know a lot of Spanish. Oh, thanks. I know. I am such a great teacher. And the crazy thing is, I never even took one Spanish class. I just picked up all of this from watching Dora the Explorer. Well, actually, I never watched the show. I just saw a commercial, and that's how I know Spanish. Yes, that's nice, Barbie, but you do know you're speaking a very old form of Spanish, yes? Oh, wait, there's an old form of Spanish? I didn't know that, so, like, what's the new stuff? Yes, Barbie, you have to catch up. See, I will teach you this new form of Spanish that everybody uses now, okay? OMG, I totally need to learn the new Spanish. Oh, thanks, Vera, please teach me. I hate old things like like wrinkles and old like dirty shoes and stuff i need to be like glam fresh and up to date teach me new age hip spanish yes now you listen barbie what i'm wearing right now it is el vestido that is the special word for dress um el vestido uh, but that kind of sounds like a vest and I'm wearing a dress. It might be confusing right now, but whatever. Now, let's move on to the next word. This right here is la mesa for table. And this one is la luz for light. Now this is espejo for mirror, the one you see myself in. And this is la silla or chair, the one that you sit in. And this right here, this is more of a dresser and we also call that cajon. You see this plant right here? This plant is called la planta and we water it with agua. Wow, this new form of Spanish is like totally different than that old form of Spanish I was speaking like. All the words don't even sound like English words. How am I supposed to learn all this? You know what? I I just don't know if I can remember all these words. So, um, I don't know if I can speak Spanish. Listen, Barbie. Uh, Spanish is not for everyone. Maybe you should stick to things you know, like shopping and wearing pink and decorating. Oh yeah, you're totally right. I am so good at wearing pink and being fashionable. And I'm so good at spending money at the mall and looking pretty. I mean, <laughs> look at me, I'm so fabulous. 
and I mean I've had a lot of other careers like I was a doctor and a zookeeper I even worked at SeaWorld and I've been a school teacher in kindergartens and daycare centers so um maybe I'll just try learning Spanish later or something anyway um speaking of shopping do you want to go baby shopping with me oh I love babies let's go pick out baby stuff we'll pick out so much pink or blue for whatever it is Oh, it's a girl, of course. Can you picture me with a boy? <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe. And in the comments, let us know how much Spanish you know. So I am I guess I don't know much, but let me know if you know any. Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Hey guys, this is Disney Cars Toy Club and today we're going to be showing you our Disney Princess Magic Clip Collection. Our first princess is Snow White. Snow White is wearing her traditional dress and red headband. And the way that the magic clip dresses work is that you press the bottom of the dress together and it opens the top so that you can slide the dress on and off. And it's very easy to dress and undress them. Next we have Princess Tiana. Tiana has all of the detailing in her dress just like in the movie. When you take the dresses off the figurines, you can see that their legs and arms work. They're movable, but their heads are not. And here is Ariel. One really nice thing about the dresses is that the bases of them are so wide that it allows the figurines to stand up. They don't stand up as well when they don't have their dresses on. <laughs> Can't get her feet in there. There we go. And here is Cinderella. All of their dresses have lots of pretty details and they're very sparkly. And here is Belle. Belle's dress is very glittery. Next is Rapunzel. Look at how long Rapunzel's hair is. <laughs> and last we have Sleeping Beauty. See how that works? Just clip it on and off. And there they all are. I thought it would be kind of fun if we mix things up a little bit and see what the princesses look like in each other's dresses. So here we have Belle in her dress, and in Cinderella's, and in Rapunzel's. Which do you like best? Here's Sleeping Beauty wearing her own dress, Belle's dress, and Snow White's dress. Which do you like best? Here's Ariel wearing her own dress, Cinderella's dress, and Tiana's dress. Which is your favorite? 
I liked Ariel in Cinderella's dress best. Here's Snow White in her dress. Here she is wearing Sleeping Beauty's dress. And here she is in Ariel's dress. I think I liked Snow White best in her own dress. Here's Princess Tiana in her own dress. Here she is in Belle's dress. And here she is wearing Rapunzel's dress. Which one do you like best? Here are the two newest Disney princesses, Elsa and Anna. Let's see if any of the princess dresses fit them. Here is Princess Anna in her own dress. Here she is wearing Sleeping Beauty's dress. Here she is wearing Belle's dress. And here she is wearing Cinderella's. I like Anna best in her own dress. What about you? Here is Elsa wearing her own dress. Here's Elsa wearing Ariel's dress. Here's Elsa in Rapunzel's dress. And here she is in Cinderella's dress. I think I like Elsa best in Cinderella's dress. It matches her tiara. And here are the princesses all dressed up in each other's dresses. Look at Cinderella. She's wearing part of Elsa's dress and part of Anna's dress. Elsa is wearing Cinderella's dress. Anna is wearing part of Elsa's dress and part of her own. For more Disney cars, Play-Doh, and surprise toy fun, check out our channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. going to buy here. We're going to buy junk food. Yay! No, Kristoff, wrong answer. Come on. 30 minutes ago, we talked about only buying healthy foods. Fine. I'll only buy healthy food like hot dogs. Kristoff, hot dogs aren't healthy. Ew, they're made out of lots of weird things. I'll only buy cake and ice cream. Kristoff, you have a lot to learn. Just come follow me. Kristoff, look over here. There's a nutritious strawberry. Oh, and there is a nutritious bubble gum. No way, Kristoff. Bubble gum is not nutritious. But it is delicious. I am going to put the bubble gum right in the shopping cart. Well, I'm going to put the strawberry in the shopping cart. There we go. Kristoff, I know you put that bubble gum in the cart, but we're not going to buy it, okay? Let's look for something healthy you can put in the cart. See? Kristoff, look over here. There's a coconut. That's healthy. So, Kristoff, why don't you pick out something healthy now? Ooh, something healthy? This hot candy should be healthy. No way! Candy is never healthy. Should I pick something else out? Now, let me find something. Hmm, I'll get this pumpkin and the frozen peas. All right, Kristoff, I'll give you one more chance. Why do you pick out something healthy? Okay, I think I can do that. Okay, potato chips are made out of potatoes. And potatoes are vegetables, so they are healthy. I guess I'll buy some potato chips. Whoopsie, the hot dog fell in. I guess we'll have to buy it. Kristoff, you did that on purpose. We better check out before you buy anything else. Or I should have said that you shouldn't have put anything in the grocery cart. Fine, let's just get out of here so I can eat my chips and hot dog. So, I have all my healthy things right here in the conveyor belt. So maybe, Kristoff, you don't need to buy your junk foods. Kristoff, why don't you put those foods back on the shelf? I will if you make pumpkin pie out of the pumpkin you just bought. It's a deal. <laughs> Woohoo! It's time for pumpkin pie and maybe pumpkin cookies too. Kristoff, you have such a sweet tooth. 
If you enjoyed this video, please click like and write down in the comment section what your favorite healthy snack is. I love pears and sweet potatoes. Thanks for watching and please click on the middle of the screen to watch my toy review of the same Shopkin set that I just videoed. It is a Shopkin Small Mart.